So here we're looking at our Audi TT RS Sport Edition, finished in Glacier White with the Gloss Black Styling Pack, sitting on 20 inch alloy wheels and the optional red brake calipers sat just behind there. Still in incredible condition, just over 26,000 miles. A full service history with three services in total. The last service being a major with spark plugs and also the DSG service for the gearbox. Carried out at just over 23,000 miles. So being the Sport Edition, it does have a lot of factory options as standard. One of those being the RS Sports Exhaust. We'll look into that as we get into the vehicle. Pirelli P0 tyres all around. There's still good tread on those tyres as well. And as you can see, still in really, really good condition. We'll take a closer look over the front end. Also got the matrix headlights there. So we'll take a look inside the vehicle now. So starting off with the passenger side, uh, you'll notice on the keys we've got the Vodafone trackers as well, which can be activated with a subscription. Got the electric folding door mirrors. And just moving inside here, you can see the Audi Sport just on the floor there, the Alcantara and the door cards, banging on the sound system, and the beautiful carbon fiber inlays. Super Sport seats in black and it's also got the integrated digital displays heated seats show up here and the climate control in the middle there and lots more beautiful carbon fiber just looking into the rear you see still in excellent condition probably never been sat in just looking at the boot space now you can see the rear camera just up on there. Really clean and tidy inside with both partial shelves as well. And we can see it's still got the Audi first aid kit and pump and tie wells just under there as well. And just looking at the driver's side now, door car's still in excellent condition. You've got the ambient lighting just under there window controls and the powerful door mirrors there again with the carbon and the Bangalore and sound system beautiful Alcantara on the steering wheel and limited wear on the driver's seat really good condition So we'll just jump in and get it started now. So just in the driver's seat now, and it's push button to start. Just wait for all that to load up. So over here you can see the heated seat symbol, light up, free stage, really neat and tidy in the air vent there, and then in the middle for the climate control as well. Original book pack, just in the glove box there. And it's stunning carbon fiber out the center console. I've got the button there for the sports exhaust and you've got the drive select modes here as well. You can flip between those back into comfort and you'll hear the exhaust open up when we go into dynamic mode. We'll wait for the vehicle to warm up and then we can jump out and rev that. So it's got quite a few features. Hopefully on the stalk there you can see the lane assist. So you see that just change on there. And then you've also got the also high beam assist, you see the symbol just show up there as well. I'll just take that back off, you can see the high beam come up. And then if we flick through some of the menus on here, we go across and get the satellite navigation up there as well. 
that's really nice having that straight across the virtual cockpit. Cruise control is just down here, on the left hand side. You can also change some of the views so you can get that in the center there like that as well. That's really nice to have. And it does have the integration for the smartphone as well. A little cup holder just in the center here, and again, just in this compartment with the 12 volt charger in there as well. And then we've got the wireless phone charging in there with the USB ports. I'll just put it into reverse. You see the front and rear sensors on the left hand side and the rear cam just in the middle there. That's just loading up for the media. So I think that's most of the features for the inside. And once the vehicle's warmed up, we'll give it a little rev and see what it sounds like. Okay guys, so we've let the vehicle warm up and we've currently got it in comfort mode. So we'll just give that a little rev now. It's a really nice noise from the five cylinder, even though it's on the uh, soft limiter. Change that into dynamic now. So you hear the valves change and then we give that a little rev. So you can really hear that open up when the valves open. Okay guys, so that's the end of the video. I hope that's been informative. Any questions or queries, please do get in touch with the sales team. Our contact details should be on the screen now. Thank you.